Oh, What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I have Hello. Stephanie Rowe Hi, guys. here. We're gonna do a chest workout for you guys. At the end we'll talk about girls doing chest implants and chest and just anything to do with chest for you guys. She also has a YouTube channel so yeah. you guys should check her out. I she do. Posts I do things. have one. It, funny enough that she picks chest because it's my weakest body part. It's my. I literally oh. do it twice a year. I brought you. <gasps> oh shit. Because this helps after you get implants. People love to scare you and say like, oh my god, blue jobs are so terrible. That's what it felt like afterwards. It just oh, felt really? like I had a really intense oh, okay. chest workout. Well, just because people aren't used to that feeling. People who don't train chest don't understand what it feels like after a really good chest workout. I felt pain once because I forgot that you use your pec for just about everything. <laughs> and I realized that when I went to go open the fridge. I didn't notice and I grabbed the fridge door and I went like this. And it, it like the implant, it was like two days after the implant moved. I was like, <laughs> like fell to the floor. I was like, oh god, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what just? <laughs> I felt like someone just like. <laughs> Five days later, I was in here on the bike. Oh, okay. But just because I was going stir crazy and I was just kind of pedaling. They didn't want me to get like extreme blood flow, obviously, because they needed to recover. I trained two months later and it was legs. I didn't train upper body for four months. And that's because I was really, really careful. Like when your doctor says don't train upper body, don't train upper body. There's girls who have gotten done and are like, oh my god, I can't train. Like I'm gonna come back in here and train. And then sure enough, they're back in there getting something fixed yeah. because the implant slipped or it got encapsulated.
like to say a crazy ass chest workout. Like it's the lamest chest workout. No. Ever. Okay. Well, when you, I guess you don't train no. chest. No. no. I thought it was pretty good. I used to train chest once a week at the beginning of when I started working out. Should girls train chest? I would say yes, you should. You're not gonna grow pecs. You're not gonna look like a dude. If you do get to the point where you feel like you have more muscle than you're comfortable with, then just stop or do it less. So that's what I did. Oh, I kind of have like a chest now. <laughs> and I would prefer to not have it continue to grow. So I'm just gonna do it less. That was one of my favorite body parts to train until I got <laughs> today is <laughs> till I got these things done and then I really didn't train chest for like I want to say a year and a half even like push-ups bothered me it's not that it hurt it just felt uncomfortable I went under the muscle it just felt like the implant was moving in there and it just felt a little weird so I just decided nah, I don't I don't really need pecs like, and the doctor like told me straight up he's like you're not you're not gonna train chest like ever again I was like hmm, sure <laughs> <laughs> two years later I started training it was slow when I usually do just incline work and it's mostly so that it hits my front belt too. But yeah, about like breast augmentation and benching, you're totally fine getting your boobs done and still training chest. It's just being smart about it. Don't train chest for a while and start off really slow. If you're a power lifter, I say don't get your boobs done. Yeah. That's just my personal opinion because you obviously, you have to flat bench. Listen to your doctor. I've seen so many girls in here get their boobs done and then within a few months, they're back in repairing something. They didn't let them settle. They didn't let them drop. One got encapsulated. There's like a tight muscle or one of them like <laughs> slipped down into their armpit. Like there's so many fucking things that can go wrong. Just listen to your doctor, recover properly and start slow. Some homies with Mark Bell. This is the first product he came out with, which was a slingshot. Basically it acts like a spotter. So it helps you kind of come out of the pocket a little bit and it's helped me tremendously with just feeling confident with the amount of weight that I could put on the barbell. And after getting my augmentation, I actually used this to help me with push-ups too, just to build that strength up slowly. Using tools like that, using band work to build up my strength slowly instead of going right into benching again, because then I would have just ruined them. I'm old and <laughs> I need protection now. So I use like knee sleeves, elbow sleeves, all the works. You saw Shiva, she's young. She doesn't need any of this stuff. I, I use the circle band though, as you guys saw. The little the last couple, yeah, the booty, the, <laughs> the booty, the booty band. I think girls should train chest because it's just creating that balance within your physique. You want to make sure you're stretching your chest too, because I see I have to work on this. I have to be conscious about this. Sometimes my chest gets really tight and my shoulders start to roll forward. So I have to consciously pull my shoulder, yeah, pull my shoulders back. That's just because I don't stretch. I should be grabbing the band and like doing work where I'm stretching my chest out. Whether it's like you add it in with like your shoulder day or yeah. an arm day, you could do just a couple push-ups. You should train it in some way. I think that's pretty much it on our chest day. Definitely <laughs> follow Stephanie and her channel. She has amazing stuff. She just did a show too and won overall for figure. She's my figure inspiration <laughs> and she's gonna get her pro card because and She's hopefully, uh, hopefully, because I can't do this shit much longer. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely go check her out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this chest workout. And subscribe, motherfucker. Subscribe <laughs> if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.